Welcome to our comprehensive deep dive into acalabrutinib and its mechanism of action, applications, and potential side effects. Acalabrutinib, a highly potent and selective brutin tyrosine kinase (BTK) inhibitor, has emerged as a promising treatment option for various hematological malignancies. In this video, we will explore the intricate workings of acalabrutinib, shedding light on how it interferes with BTK signaling pathways, leading to the disruption of cancer cell growth and survival. Understanding the mechanism of action. Acalabrutinib exerts its therapeutic effects by selectively binding to and inhibiting the activity of brutin tyrosine kinase, BTK. BTK is a crucial enzyme involved in B-cell receptor signaling, which plays a pivotal role in the survival and proliferation of B-cell malignancies. By blocking BTK, acalabrutinib disrupts the signaling cascade that promotes cancer cell growth and survival. Unlike older BTK inhibitors, acalabrutinib specifically targets the active conformation of BTK, leading to increased selectivity and reduced off-target effects. This selectivity is attributed to acalabrutinib's unique binding mode, which allows it to form strong interactions with key amino acids in the active site of BTK. This high specificity minimizes the potential for adverse effects on non-cancerous cells, enhancing the drug's safety profile. Through its inhibition of BTK, Acalabrutinib interrupts multiple signaling pathways involved in B-cell malignancies, including the B-cell receptor signaling pathway, PI3K, AKT, MTOR pathway, and NF-kappa-B pathway. By disrupting these pathways, acalabrutinib effectively inhibits cancer cell survival, proliferation, and migration. Applications of acalabrutinib Acalabrutinib has shown remarkable efficacy in the treatment of various hematological malignancies, particularly chronic lymphocytic leukemia, CAE, and mantle cell lymphoma, MCL. In CAE, acalabrutinib has emerged as a first-line treatment option for both treatment-naive and relapsed, refractory patients. The Resonate 2 trial demonstrated superior progression-free survival and overall survival compared to traditional chemoimmunotherapy regimens in treatment-naive CAE patients. In MCL, acalabrutinib has shown significant activity, especially in patients who have received prior therapy. The ace li 4 trial demonstrated a high overall response rate and durable responses in relapsed, refractory MCL patients. These promising results led to the FDA's approval of acalabrutinib for the treatment of relapsed, refractory MCL. Beyond CAE and MCL, acalabrutinib is being investigated in various other B-cell malignancies, including Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia and diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. Early phase clinical trials have shown encouraging results, paving the way for further exploration of acalabrutinib in these diseases. Benefits of acalabrutinib Acalabrutinib has emerged as a game-changer in hematologic cancer therapy for several reasons. Efficacy Clinical trials have shown impressive response rates in patients with CAE and MCL, leading to extended periods of remission. Oral administration Acalabrutinib is taken orally in pill form, offering convenience and flexibility for patients. Tolerability Compared to some alternative treatments, acalabrutinib is associated with a more favorable side effect profile. Common side effects include headache, diarrhea, and muscle pain, but they are often less severe than those associated with other therapies. Long-term use Acalabrutinib has demonstrated effectiveness with prolonged use, providing patients with a potentially longer-lasting treatment option. Quality of life the favorable side effect profile and oral administration contribute to an improved quality of life for many patients. Clinical trials and efficacy. Clinical trials have played a crucial role in establishing the efficacy and safety of acalabrutinib in hematological malignancies. The ASCEN trial, a phase 3 study in relapsed, refractory CAE, demonstrated superior efficacy of acalabrutinib compared to the standard of care, including abrutinib. Acalabrutinib showed significantly longer progression-free survival, higher overall response rate, and better tolerability. Real-world data have also supported the clinical trial findings, reaffirming the efficacy and safety of acalabrutinib in routine clinical practice. The Acalabrutinib Real-World Evidence RWAY, study demonstrated high response rates and favorable safety profiles in patients with relapsed refractory CAE, further solidifying acalabrutinib's position as a valuable treatment option. Potential Side Effects of Acalabrutinib While acalabrutinib is generally well tolerated, it is essential to be aware of potential side effects to ensure proper management and patient care. Common side effects include headache, diarrhea, fatigue, and myalgia. 
These side effects are usually mild to moderate and can be managed with supportive care or dose modifications. More serious but less frequent adverse events include atrial fibrillation, bleeding events, and infections. Acalabrutinib has been associated with an increased risk of bleeding, especially in patients on concomitant anticoagulants or antiplatelet therapy. Therefore, caution should be exercised when administering acalabrutinib to patients with a history of bleeding or those taking medications that increase bleeding risk. Safety Profile and Monitoring Regular monitoring is crucial to ensure patient safety and optimize treatment outcomes. Routine laboratory tests, including complete blood counts, liver function tests, and renal function tests, should be performed periodically. Monitoring for signs of atrial fibrillation, bleeding, and infections is also important. The safety profile of acalabrutinib has been well established through clinical trials and real-world data. Compared to older BTK inhibitors, acalabrutinib has shown a more favorable safety profile with a lower incidence of adverse events, such as atrial fibrillation and bleeding. However, healthcare professionals should remain vigilant and promptly address any potential adverse events to ensure patient well-being. Drug Interactions with Acalabrutinib Acalabrutinib is primarily metabolized by cytochrome P4503A, CYP3A, enzymes. Therefore, county administration of strong CYP3A inhibitors or inducers may affect acalabrutinib's plasma concentration and efficacy. Concomitant use of strong CYP3A inhibitors should be avoided, and alternative medications should be considered if necessary. Similarly, strong CYP3A inducers should be used with caution, and dose adjustments may be required. In addition to CYP3A, acalabrutinib may also interact with other medications, such as proton pump inhibitors and antacids. It is important to carefully review potential drug interactions and consider appropriate management strategies to prevent any adverse effects or reduced efficacy of acalabrutinib. Dosage and Administration Guidelines The recommended dosage of acalabrutinib varies depending on the indication and patient characteristics. For CHI-A and MCL, the usual starting dose is 100 mg orally twice daily. However, dose modifications may be necessary based on individual patient factors, such as renal impairment or concomitant medications. Acalabrutinib is available as oral capsules, which should be swallowed whole with water. The capsules should not be opened, crushed, or chewed. If a dose is missed, it should be taken as soon as possible, unless it is almost time for the next scheduled dose. Emerging Research and Future Directions Exciting research is underway to explore the potential of acalabrutinib in other hematological malignancies and combination therapies. Preliminary studies have shown promising results in diseases like Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia and diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, opening up possibilities for expanded indications in the future. Combination therapies incorporating acalabrutinib with other targeted agents, immunotherapies, or chemotherapy are also being investigated. These approaches aim to maximize treatment efficacy by targeting multiple pathways involved in cancer cell survival and proliferation. Conclusion Acalabrutinib, with its highly selective inhibition of brutin tyrosine kinase, has revolutionized the treatment of various hematological malignancies. Through its disruption of BTK signaling pathways, acalabrutinib effectively inhibits cancer cell growth and survival. Clinical trials and real-world data have demonstrated its efficacy and tolerability, making it a valuable treatment option for patients with limited alternatives. While acalabrutinib is generally well tolerated, healthcare professionals should be aware of potential side effects and closely monitor patients to ensure optimal treatment outcomes. With ongoing research and exploration of new indications and combination therapies, the future of acalabrutinib holds great promise in the fight against hematological malignancies. Acalabrutinib represents a significant advancement in the treatment of hematologic cancers, offering new hope to patients facing these challenging diseases. Its efficacy, tolerability, and oral administration make it an attractive option for many individuals. However, it's important to remember that every patient's situation is unique. The decision to use acalabrutinib or any other medication should be made in consultation with a healthcare provider who can assess your specific condition, medical history, and treatment goals. Acalabrutinib's role in hematologic cancer therapy underscores the relentless pursuit of innovative treatments that can improve patients' lives and bring us closer to the goal of more effective cancer management. Join us as we continue to unravel the mysteries of acalabrutinib and gain a deeper understanding of this groundbreaking therapy. Thanks for watching.